how does the karma binds to the soul and what are the qualities of bandha prakruti band means type nature of the karma what is the type of the karma i'm binding whether i'm getting glana varniya karma darshana varniya mohaniya antra or no all eight different types of the categories of the karma sthiti band what is the duration of band duration of that karma is going to stick to my soul okay that's the duration that is called sthiti band anubhag band anubhag band means or rash band at what intensity karma will produce the result okay I mean uh, most of the things you can understand when you take uh, anger when you get angry are you getting mildly angry like we get angry to uh, our children some of the times they don't behave it the way we wanted them to behave it but our in intensity of anger is not going to be really high that's the kind of the thing it's a anubhag band or ras band and the pradesh band means quantity of karma which we are going to acquire during the band or characteristics of the bondage of karma so the karma philosophy has you no know, significant meaning explaining in in our religion punya ne paap karma we already discussed the process of bondage and separation of karma at every moment this is another fundamental at every moment all eight categories which is four ghati karma four aghati karma together produce the result and then they get separated from the soul once they produce the result it separated from the soul at every moment seven of the eight categories of new karma we are attached to to the soul only once in lifetime a soul acquires ayu karma only mohaniya karma is responsible for all for the bondage of all new karma all eight type of the categories so this is the basic fundamental again for karma every moment eight categories combined together produce the result seven of the eight categories are attached to the soul only once in lifetime ayush karma is is attached to the soul and only mohaniya karma is responsible for all categories of the karma means you have if you have no mohaniya karma you cannot acquire any other karma that's the that is what the you know, stage of keval gnani keval gnani has on the 12th gun sthana only mohaniya karma is gone at that time rest of the things is just a matter of time you attain the keval gnan and then you attain nirvana so this is the the, the net gist of it in in the sense two types of the mohaniya karma which we say darshan mohaniya which is mithyatva most dangerous karma okay bondage occurs and ananta anubandhi kasai we discuss that one anyway and then the charitra mohaniya which is less dangerous it is still a dangerous okay but relatively speaking mithyatva is the worst and then the charitra 
Okay. Darshan Moniya, which is you know, opposite of Samyatva. Okay. Once the Mithyatva is gone, now you, you acquire the Samyatva. And if you notice it, the Samyatva at the fourth Gunstana is the only Vyavar Samyatva. The Nishche Samyatva occurs on the twelfth Gunstana. Okay. And uh, <clears throat> Punya Nepa, we, we already discussed it, all these things, Granavaniya, Darshnavaniya, three, three Aghatik, uh, and Andrai Karma, three Ghati Karmas are gone after absence of Mohaniya Karma. Okay? And then Vedaniya, Nam, Gotra, and Ayushya Karma, four Aghati Karmas. And that one will take its own time. You've got to keep one thing in the mind for Aghati Karma. I just told you before, okay, for Ghati Karma, you can reduce the magnitude, you can change them during the course of time. Aghati Karma, no, you have to experience that karma to complete them. No agati karma you can, like you cannot reduce your ayush. Similarly, Vedniya, Nam, Gotra, okay, all these karma, before your life is over, you have to complete it. Going through it because agati karma is the karma Kevli Samudgat. I don't know if you have read about it or not. But that what it does, it reduces, it eliminates all karma by completing their effect. Okay. So that is the key things for Vedaniya, Nam, Gotra, and Ayu karma. Hence, in the absence of Mohaniya karma, theoretically one can say Iriyapithik karma are being attached. The Iriyapithik karma, which you may have heard about this terminology or not, but anyway, in a simple sense, in the first moment you acquire the karma, and the second moment those karma get separated. So it is Iriyapithik karma, means. You are just, uh, you acquire it on the first moment and second moment, you get rid of them, okay? You fall up. These are the called Iriyapithik, and that's what Kevli, when they deliver the speech, sermons, and all these things, the Kevli acquires only Iriyapithik karma. And the first moment they get, next moment is gone. Okay. However, no, this karma have no power to degrade a person spiritually, and hence they are not considered in this spiritual aspect of the presentation. And let's see, well, we got few minutes left, a couple of slides there. <clears throat> 